Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a quick review on the Animex TVG 8610C. It's a clone of Pong and a few other games. Uh, as you can see here, it's pretty pretty nice color, but not not the best out there. If that makes sense. Along the top here we have the sliders for the score, and then in the middle here we have the game select switch. There's about ten or so games on it. And then going down here we have the power on, game reset, team left difficulty, team right difficulty, speed and auto serve. Now going on here we have the controllers. Both controllers come can detach from the console and they're on fairly long leads but the leads aren't quite long enough. Now just moving along to the controller we have the serve and fire button as well as the multi-directional analog stick. Now moving along to the rear of the console we have 9 volt DC input, battery door and the RF output. Now if we just flip the console over, you can see the battery cover. Underneath there's a compartment to fit six C-size batteries for using this without the transformer. Moving on to the left hand side of it, we have an unused port and then the front of the console. Now quickly just back up to the top of the console here, we have the game select switch. 10 games. You cannot install extra games onto this unlike other models. I've also found that this is very very touchy so if you bump it while you're playing the game, the game will lock up. Okay so this is Pong. Well it's actually called Tennis, it's like a clone of Pong. Um, I play with these switches on the side here, you can set to auto fire, like that. Automatically launches the ball. Or I can switch the speed to how fast it goes. I don't know if it works with if um, the speed switch works with with tennis or not. It doesn't seem to make much difference. Um, we have I can't really see it in the frame, but just flicking the switches along the middle. Uh, team right. If you switch to the professional, auto. The paddle gets smaller, same with this one. Reset just resets it. If I slide the red slider across, I can see different games. Mess. That's basketball. Soccer. Just try tennis first. It's very hard to play one handed. This this model I have here was actually only ever released in Australia. There's a port on the side for something, but it isn't connected to anything. It was taken out late in the design phase, just before they produced it. And it looks like it looks like it could be just a standard connector to connect the other controllers. And it's actually quite hard to play. Let's 
seems like the school it goes up to 15. The little sliders on the top only go up to 10. Actually quite hard to play. The the joysticks on this are actually quite fiddly. Let's change games. Let's play some basketball. Also, another weird thing when you switch games. The score doesn't reset, so you have to reset the console. I don't like playing basketball. Uh, standing above the net. Um, also, this doesn't produce sound over RF, it only produces sound from the internal speaker, and on this one, it's actually broken. And I haven't tried replacing the actual speaker yet, because I haven't got my hands on one, but when I do, yeah, so that's just a quick look at this uh, the Hanamax, it's the TBG8610C. As I said, I believe this, this model here, I think here is only released in Australia and maybe New Zealand. But apart from that, it's a pretty good Pong clone. Um, the only thing I don't like is uh, how the, just the colours, the blue and green. So, I'm not a big fan of it, I would prefer it if it was black and white. Um, so yeah, it is colour. similar to the Atari, just a bit washed down, a bit watered down. There you go. As always, thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. It uh, really helps me out.